Welcome to Raw YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to add Humber box to filter Microsoft Access continuous form data. Before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe Raw YouTube channel for more videos like this. This is my sample MS Access database. So I have named this database has search as you type combo so here I'll show you how to add combo box to a MS Access continuous form to filter your data I'll explain this I'll explain this step by step please study carefully so in my sample database I have a table called test so this table contains sample data and the table is like this so it contains company data so I use this data to explain this process so based on this table first of all I want to create a query so I click on the create tab Then I select query design. Then I select test table for my query. So from this field, I'm going to select several fields ID. This is for the first name and this is for the last name. So here I want to add an additional column called full name so I expect to take full name here so this is how I add full name column to my query so I name this column as full name to combine the first name and the last name I use following function so I type this function here under the field tab so I'll zoom this to get a proper view this full name open, open bracket then F name field and double quotation and L name it means last name right this is the function I use to combine first name and last name to get the full name in addition to that I get company name address and the country so this is the field i want to use for my query so i extract these details from my test table then let's see what happens so i'm going to run my query yeah once i uh, run my query you can see full name like this so I want to make a space here so I save my query as sample URI you see when I keep space then the first name and full name there's a space there because I kept a space under my function and I save my query as sample query so let's close the query and the table so my next step is to add form so get a new form click I click on the create tab and I select blank form then I want to save my form 
ऐसे फारम ऐसे फारम साब एंड राइट क्लिक एंड गो टू द डिजाइन व्यू एंड आई वांट टू टेक द फॉर्म हेडर आई एडेड फॉर्म हेडर टू माय फॉर्म देन राइट क्लिक I select the form and go to the form properties window. So there, select record source. So under the properties window, under the record source, we have to select sample query as the record source of your form and the default view of your form. Under the default view. If you form, you have to select continuous form from the drop-down menu, and I want to adjust, adjust my form like this. Then I want to add. Text boxes like this. This is for the ID. This is for the ID. So here. I want to select ID, and this is for the full name, and this um, text box for the company name, and this this one for the address, and this text box is for. Country. Then the I want to set the uh, font color to black. Then I want to add labels for each text box. So I want to keep. I want to lay place labels under the form header section. Yeah, this one is for the ID. This one is label for whole name. This label for company name. This label is for address. And this is for country. Now we are going to change label. Uh, Font color to black, bold, bold. The font size I want to keep to it. Now let's go to the form view. Yes, this is the. This is my continuous form. Yes, now my uh, continuous form is ready. Then I'm going to add a cover box to fill records. Go to the design view and place a combo box inside the form header section, like this. Then from this uh, combo visa combo box wizard menu, select the first option and go to next. Then Select the queries. Then you have to select this one, sample query. Here, here we need a full name. Next, next. Then let's change the combo box label name as search records. And I want to uh, rename my combo box as CBO search. Right. Let's change the font color of the of this combo box red color. Then I want to add another small uh, command button. 
to raise with my command uh, sorry to reset my uh, combo box the right and the caption of this form is button is reset then the name I want to change as CMD reset yes that, that is what we want to these are the things we uh, need to do so then we have to put a small coding part go to design view and select the combo box and right click on it and click on the build event then choose code builder so you have to put code under the uh, combo box after update event then select the after update event then you have to uh, put this code so this is the code you have to use me dot Words. Open quotation. The bracket. Full name. Me dot CBO search then me dot me dot filter equals to so that is the code you have to add for your cbo search combo box after update event So let's check the code in part. So save and uh, go to the access window. So here, let's type in mistake. C H R. Then save. Yes, here you have to uh, type filter on. So I have mistaken. I made uh, I made mistake here. So you have to add filter on equal zero. Then press save button. Go to the access window and go to the form view. Yeah. Now it works. Now it sorts. Now it sorts the continuous form sorts according to the combo box text like this. Now I want to reset this combo box. So how can I reset? Then again go to design new, select the command button, right click and select the build event, choose the code builder. Then we have to put this small code here under the command button, click event, e dot. Filter equals then e dot. filter on equals false save now go to the form view again now let's see whether the reset button works now press on the reset button yes your database 
is on the box resets or your favorite resets once you press this reset button now again likewise you can select record so a new form report so it sorts according to the combo box text so and you can use this reset button to out the filter so that is how you can uh, use combo box to filter your ms access continuous form so i think you can understand what i explain so if you need any clarification please so if you need any uh, clarification please uh, put a comment under the comment section of this video and i'll send the link or i'll put the link of this uh, database under the video description so you can download the sample file okay that's it for today let's meet with another video stay with us and please subscribe the Roll youtube channel for more videos thank you